What's up, guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Here we have a Profile California 1200 SX 1200 watt amplifier from 1999. Look at the beautiful LEDs across the top here and this mirror plate between the pretty blue finish. Looks like California. Here on one end of the amp, we have basic RCA inputs. We have a crossover switch with a crossover level and also a bass boost. This amp is not small. It's about 24 inches long, so you have to have room to mount it. It has four 20 amp fuses, so 80 amps of fusing, four gauge power and ground, and about 10 gauge for the speaker connections. All right, let's open this bad boy up and check out the gets. Alright, I kind of hate even doing these type of uh, demos because the mic is going to distort. It's not going to sound right to you. You're not going to be able to get the experience that I have here. But I'm going to do it anyway. So let's try a little bass track. Now let's crank it up some. Again, apologies for the distorted sound on the mic. This is clean here in the OSS Labs. I don't know if you can hear me over the thump. The amp is kicking to the Rockford. subs friends killing them everything in here is rattling so nothing else that was fun amp sounds pretty good hooked up to the subs four ohms mono going to two eight ohm rockford power subs from 1996 pretty cool we'll do a quick test for you guys let's see what this bad boy can do We'll just do a quick dyno run, certified. Let's hook up the connectors here. Let's go mono. And let's do four ohms. Try one kilohertz track first. Seven hundred and fifty eight watts at fourteen point two volts. Not quite 1200 watts, friends. But let's try 40 hertz. This is a continuous tone. This is not a dynamic test. Seven twenty-three, 14.1. Well, what about dynamic? Maybe we can get to 1200 watts. We go dynamic. Let's see, dynamic, mono. Four ohms. See our voltage is pretty good. We're starting at about 14.5. Come on, 1200. Got 900. 920. 14.2. Not quite there. Maybe it needs to be dropped just a little bit. Ohm load wise. What do you think? I don't know. Well. Let's let's try dynamic. Let's try 2.67 ohms. Oh, there we go. There's our 1200 watts. Woohoo! It actually did 1200 watts at 14.2 volts 2.67 ohms mono again this is a stereo amplifier so that's 1.33 ohms per channel so there we go guess it does do 1200 watts just have to load it down a little bit all right since we got good wattage dynamically at 2.67 ohms let's try certified run at 2.67 
860 watts, 2.67 ohms mono, 13.9 volts. All right, just because we can do a dynamic test at two ohms mono. Wow. 1387. Almost 1400 watts, 14.05 volts. All right guys, there you have the test of the Profile 1200SX from 1999 on the Amp Dyno. Well, budget amps, kind of get what you pay for. Didn't quite do its rated power, but hey, to the dynamic test, it did its power a little bit more. So there you have it. Please subscribe to my videos, thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, give me a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> Until next time, I'm out of here. Thanks to Stinger Electronics for providing the accessories that power the OSS Labs. Find out more, stingerelectronics.com.